hi, hello, and good afternoon. My name is Amanda, and welcome to The Done Creative. This is the third video in my Building Your Intuition series, which I will go ahead and link the playlist up in the cards so you can do the other couple of videos I have up. In today's video, we're going to be doing a series of three guessing games, basically, where you have to pick this lady. You have to find the Queen of Hearts, We'll start out with two cards, so you'll have a 50-50 chance of finding her. Then we'll do three cards, then we'll do four cards, and we'll see how many times you can find her. Please don't spoil it for people in the comments, because if you're anything like me, you kind of go through and read comments just to see what everyone else is talking about and doing. Don't spoil it. You can say, oh, I got three out of four right, or something like that, but don't say, oh, number one was this, number two was that try to keep it fun for everybody. You may want to pause the video between rounds so that you can really hone in on your energy. And if you're new to intuition building exercises or pick a card readings and all of that, the best way if you're if you're new is to just close your eyes and take a couple of long deep breaths and really try to center your energy. So if say for instance we had two cards sitting here waiting, you want to kind of figure out, you know, is it one or is it two? Is it one or two? And then really focus your energy. Push pause is probably your best bet to not be rushed. And then when you're ready, unpause the video and see how you did. So let's go ahead and get into this. I'm going to replace these cards. And when we come back, the Queen of Hearts will be hidden under one or the other of these two cards. See you soon. The Queen of Hearts is hidden somewhere below. So go ahead and press pause if you need to and really focus your energy to try to hone in on which one of these two cards is that Queen of Hearts. Okay, which one is it? Did you pick right? Okay, let's try this again with three cards. I will go ahead and give you guys a moment to center your energy and figure out which one is the Queen of Hearts. Which one did you choose? She's hiding right about here. <laughs> How did you do that time? Okay, this is our last exercise for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and try to center your energy and again, press pause if you need to. Which one of these cards is the Queen of Hearts? Okay, last one, let's see how you did. There she is. All right, you guys, this was fun. How did you do this time? Again, don't spoil it in the comments, but let me know how well you did and what kind of technique you use to really center your energy and tap into that intuition. Because not everybody does it the same way. Some people just look at this group of four cards and instantly know, oh, it's that one or that one or whatever. And other people really have to center in on it and other people still maybe want to hold a finger up over the screen and kind of see if one of them gets warmer than the others. I mean there's many 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 ways to do this and sometimes a way that's worked for you for a long time all of a sudden isn't working anymore so it's kind of pushing you out of that comfort zone to try to really find new ways to tap into your intuition but once you know what that intuition feels like even if you're using different techniques to tap into it, you'll always know once you feel it again. If you're new to these intuitive exercise videos, go ahead and search that playlist and do some practice runs on my other two videos, at least at the time of this posting. I hope to make this a continuous series here on my channel, so eventually I'll have a hundred of these or two hundred of these, who knows. But yeah, I really love doing these and it's so much fun. And they're quick, easy ways to build that intuition, especially if you're new to using that intuitive muscle. This is just a great way to practice. And you can even do this 
with your own deck of cards or you could even write a number on four different pieces of paper and try to find the number you're looking for or the symbol you're looking for or whatever. You can do this at home or practice with a friend. It's a really great way to exercise that intuitive muscle. All right, thank you guys so much for checking out this video and I hope you like, comment, share, subscribe and all the things and I hope to see you back at the Done Creative. All right, bye guys.